requirement is succeeded, but the website is not loading from the local machine, right? So I fixed that issue. I just wanted to show you that as well. Today we will see another deployment. Why it fails and how I fixed this. I will show you. Considering this. I have three websites, so local website is yesterday one. Today I'm deleting this. Yes. Okay. So, if I, if I just, so there are only two two websites. There is no third website. Now, if I go here and edit this release, so yesterday when I am deploying, okay, yesterday when I am deploying. I am not creating a separate app pool. Okay, I am not creating a separate app pool. That's the reason. In IAS, Internet Information Services, every site, okay, these are sites. So every site will have its respective app pool. So the full name is application pool, but in general, people will call this as simply app pool. App pool means application pool. If tomorrow your website is not running properly, your website is not loading properly, then what happens? People will come here. People will come here. They will verify. They will try to restart or they will try to stop. They will browse or something, whatever do. Everything is fine. Then they will go to application pool. Then they will go to application pool and they will verify the settings here. So what is the version they are maintaining? how it is classified, those all things. So here they have basic settings. This is the basic settings window and they will have advanced settings window. OK, advanced settings window. How much time it is taking? See, ping maximum response time 90 seconds, ping period 30 seconds, startup time 90 seconds. So these all are like advanced settings. Every app will be integrated with one website. If you want to see here, if I go with this, if I go with this. So this app pool name is local site. So this is the website and it has its app pool name local site. If I want to change, I can change. So these all are the app pools available. These all are the app pools available. Okay. And the entire history of this website was available in this folder. The entire whatever supporting files, OK, whatever supporting files and it was associated with. Port number, I think, uh, yeah, this was associated with port number 80. If you take another website, go to settings. So this was associated with 6500 and 7500 port. The app pool name is default pool. The app pool name is default pool. OK. And this is HTTP only. This is not HTTPS. Why not HTTPS? Because this is my local website. HTTPS is a setting that will be assigned to a website which has valid SSL certificate. I think we already discussed this topic. If you go to let's say my local website, this is my local website. If I load this. <clears throat> okay, if I load this. See, this is this this website is looks this website looks good, but this is not secure website. Why? Because I have not gone to any verify verifying authority and asked them to verify my website. And I request them to give me a secure certification. If you see. If I go here, HTTPS. 
See, this site can't provide a secure connection. This is not HTTPS. This is not HTTPS. So this is only HTTP. Okay, the site can't provide secure connection. Why? Because there is no SSL certification. If you take general google.com, see it has a lock symbol and this connection is secure and it has a valid certification. If I go here, certificate is valid. This is a valid certificate. It is valid till 27 December 2021. Okay, so that's what here the setting. So you go here, advanced settings. This is only HTTP. This is not HTTP. Yes. Now we will see the actual deployment. So straight sailing, right? So today, uh, yeah. So I will keep this local website only. Yesterday we already seen. Uh, so when I deployed without this option, it is failing. Today I will deploy with this option. Create. Uh, and I want to show you the changes as well. I want to show you the changes as well. See, when I select this, you will get some options here. So when I select this, see, there is an extra option came, IAS application full. If I uncheck this, there are no options. When I check this, so you need to give, you are trying to create you are trying to create app pool, so it will ask the details of the app pool. So what is the app pool name? What is the .NET version supported? How this is defined? What is the identity? Okay, so these are the settings. And all of them are important. Okay, all of them are important. So you can see these settings are designed already here. If I go to any app pool, see app pool name, version integrated or classic. The same we are seeing here. App pool name version integrated or classic. Okay, integrated or classic. So when I select this option, it will ask me all these details. So I have given all the details. I have given all the details. So to defer, I will change the website name. The app website okay my app website okay my app website then my app website okay done now i will save this then create a release create a release create so release five <clears throat> so by the time it runs, I just want to re-verify how is our app service running. Yes, this is our app service. Yeah, so it is running fine. So in the app service, it has US address, but whereas in my local, still running. Cancel. If I refresh this entire window, yeah, see my app will created. And if I refresh this window, see my app website came. So my app website, my app will both came. So yesterday when we are deploying, we are seeing a cross symbol because it was not associated with any Apple. It was not associated with any Apple. Now I think, yeah, this is completed. Now if I go and browse here, manage website, browse. Okay, and this is going to edge browser but i will close this and i will open in chrome so so that we can verify the difference between yesterday's deployment i mean 
the previously deployed website and today's so our port number is 5500 okay see so this is cloud one app service deployed and the contact has microsoft redmond this is local deployed okay okay yeah yeah we are deploying the same i think the previous deployed one is hyderabad address so everything is us only then how can we differ only by the url okay that's cool so only by the url you can differ so this is deployed long back 6500 this is cloud deployed and this is deployed today okay and this is deployed today so today we will see this is clear right so how we are deploying to app service and how we are deploying to local server by adding the server into deployment group so if you want to deploy to your local server first you need to add the server to the deployment group otherwise there will be no 